All right, boys, let's get right into it. This is another ultra high MMR game, even higher MMR than my last video at 11,130 average MMR game. And this game is going to be featuring some of the best of the best. Let's start with the Radiant here. The Tiny is being played by Weehaw. Jakiro. Oh, that's just Pikachu there. This is Whisper from Beast Coast, I'm playing the offlane Enigma. The Pudge is pure. And the last but not least on the Radiant right here is your boy Miracle on the Nature's Prophet. Here on Dire, well, there's a little bit of a skirmish here in the middle. Looks like Pikachu gonna barely get away with his life here. Action happening already here. Ursa, this is going to be Skeeter. And on the Razor, Mind Control. Rubik here is going to be played by Thug. And then right here, Topson playing as Topson. And then, yet again, last but no least, Sumel on his Void Spirit mid. A little action here. Topson going to boost first. Miracle trying to click him down. Mind Control also with a little bit of the slaps. Wand first build here on the Nature's Prophet. Looks like Miracle ended up counterpicking Mind Control on his Razor. Topson playing with fire here, seeing if he can outplay dot 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 dot, aka Pikachu. Running back, and it looks like a disastrous start here for the Dire. So this lane should go pretty well here for Miracle. Like, counterpick to the Razor, it's really hard to get a link on him. He'll just, can't really deal with the Treants that well, so he'll like zone him out. Topson's gonna run back to base and end up healing, not helping their cause at all. Mid lane is Weehaw versus Sumel. Alliance versus NGX. Who is stronger? And then on the top lane, Whisper, NA Pride, playing on the EU server here. Going for an early earn, seems to be like the new meta offlane enigma build pudge four you don't see it a lot but it looks like we're having fun and let's just go back and see what i just missed All right, so topson ends up coming back to the lane here he has to dispose disposes right into mind control right clicks are happening he's bringing the mango right here oh my gosh perfectly just in time with the backpack easy for a split i think the most interesting lane here will probably be miracle versus topson and mind control as with most Marcy games, there's a lot of cool plays you can make. Here we're gonna harass here. We have a ward to block the big camp. Topson not being a support player doesn't even bother bringing out a sentry to deward that. In the mid lane, pretty even so far. We have the early bottle. Smell also with the early bottle. Getting the rune. Topson wants to get aggressive here. But interesting enough, Topson gave Sumel mid or vice versa. Smell made tops and go support. Who knows? Chad mode. You didn't want that. Smell going for the outplay here. Some water runes activated. Top lane pretty even on CS so far. Not much happening, but Topson in the middle lane, as a mid player himself, realizing the importance of winning the mid lane. Will Smell get juked? He ends up missing the remnants. And also missing the resonant pulse there. Topson questioning whether or not he should have given Maid away at this very moment. Meanwhile, we have the Pudge creeping in the mid lane here. Lee Hall with his spells coming off cooldown in three seconds. Can they get him? He's got stick charges. Resonant. Oh, into the hook. Smackdown. And the aggressive tip. Oh my goodness. Will Smell take that? Or will he retaliate with some all chat himself? Looks like not. And then Thompson going in on the bottom lane with the Dispose into the rebound. This is a combination of combinations. Razor plus uh, Marcy, really dumb combo. Toss him into the static link. You're out of position, sad for you. And then once you do get a little bit of ground running away, cause you gotta run, right? The rebound will not only slow the opponent into damage, it'll give Razor 45% move speed. Absolutely insane here. And Thompson steals the water rune away. Wants to go, rebounds him into the river. He does have a, a, a remnant up, perfectly timed, and Topson, being a gentleman, giving Sumel the last hit into a high five. Former teammates back on OG, or TI-10, are back at it again. Oh, he's got two points rot, no hook. 
Looks like he doesn't want to make anything happen with it. Let's see how the top lane is doing here while we have a moment. I think the player to really watch this game will be tops on this Marcy. Probably going to make all the action happen going for the phase boots. Interesting enough, most uh, Marcy's don't opt for such a greedy item, but you know is what it is and here it is Thompson coming to the top lane immediately going to get the rebound here looks like it will be a double kill look at that move speed bonus can't run from this marcy's fair fair and balanced here and that's a double kill now looking at the net worth here ursa and void spirit leading the way all off the back of Thompson. Thompson's rotations he's a killer he's got the killer instinct now they're going to make a rotation towards mid lane, but will Weehaw fall for it? Yes, he will. He indeed will fall for this very elementary play here. How could he have not seen this coming? And then rebound coming, lift back, and the train has been ran from the mid lane. Thompson doing such a good job, Sumo's going to end up giving him a bottle charge for his efforts. Let's follow Thompson to the bottom lane. I don't think many other heroes are that interesting here. Oh, stealing the rune with the hook here. Let's go back and watch that. Some swag plays here. Nigma level four. Skeeter level five and a half. Nigma really not having the best game ever here. Trying to get away. Hook is available. He's got a DD. Oh, got the hook off. Into the centaur stun. But guess who's here? Smell is here to clean up the day. But Miracle has joined. Ends up killing Skeeter, leaving bottom lane fine. He's level six now. Can he get the Wrath of Nature? Oh no, it just went on the creeps. And he will just get out, and Miracle's gonna chase Sunil down. His current teammate, gonna block him with the Treants. And it looks like he'll just get out. Very good rotation there from Miracle. He did push this lane out all the way, so not much to lose there. Just gonna sit here and farm it up. And Nine's coming in to refill the bottle of Sumil. And going back to see Weehaw going for a snipe play. Scouting the Rubik, retreating here. Very deep. Ends up killing him. Thompson wants to punish him. Very angry from him making this play. Smell goes in. Probably will save his stun for when necessary. And it looks like he is just going to die here. And another kill for Skeeter. Worth it. Just kidding. It wasn't really worth it for the tiny. <laughs> Ends up giving another kill away. And they did a lane swap. This is really good by uh, Whisper here. Realizing Miracle into the top lane. Very important in moments like these where if your carry comes to your lane and uses his TP scroll, don't just stay there unless you plan on pressuring. If you can't pressure, just use your TP and swap lanes. High MMR tip for you there. And on the top lane here, it looks like the hook will be attempted. It misses. He has no way getting out of Sprout here, so it looks like he will just get right click down. And the Jakiro with the damage over the time will get the last hit. Eight minute runes. Topson getting some self space here smell and base tp's down to the off lane sees enigma farming down here i think he realizes miracle did not have much mana to work with they look for the enigma he's only level five at the moment barely poor spots him farming the big camp goes straight in not much whisper can do here the remnant does miss but it will not even be necessary for the kill mind control thought about stealing the kill there but does not go for it and then meanwhile, nine is farming top. I say nine, but you know, it's the fake nine. We saw him last game too. This is actually Skeeter. Miracle going for Maelstrom first. I do enjoy this. It helps pump up your farm. Eventually you can get a Gleipner with it, which is a very good item, this patch. We all really struggling with his net worth in this game. Still far away. Beautiful hook from Pudge. Rebound. They can't get it off. And Thompson will go down. And Miracle has been found here. He looks like he's going to try and pour it out. But unfortunately, without that stun being there, nothing will come from that. Miracle just waiting here. Wondering if his team will come with 20 wand. Let's check TP status. Tiny could come. Could be good here. If Mind Control does go deep here, Tiny could TP in. It looks like the Pudge will be the one to TP in instead. And now Mind Control has to make a decision here. It looks like he's gonna book it out. Lee Hall completely oblivious to this play. Instead decides to go on the top lane. And Rage does go off. There is a nice black hole. Toss combination used, but do they have the damage to kill off 
Skeeter. The urn is ticking, and it looks like they will get him simultaneously on the bottom lane here. We'll see what happened, but I think the Pudge may have hit a hook here. And he indeed he did. A beautiful hook into a rot play. Sacrifices his life to give Miracle an easy kill. So, Radiant owning here. And then Smill also going in on Shakiro. And that looks like an easy clap for sure. Bloodbath here, 10 minutes into the game. So Weehaw is staying a little long on this top lane. Well, it looks like Sumel. Remnant on cooldown. But the counter TPs are here. Enigma does have a stun available. And ends up juking him. Juking the Ice Bath. Now there's three heroes top. It looks like they'll try to punish Miracle down here. If he's none the wiser, he could get caught. But it looks like on the top lane here. Wait, what just happened? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Pudge, he's rotting right now. Animation's a little bugged, but he's killing himself. Smell TP's in immediately. Pudge realizing, uh oh, I... <laughs> I backpacked my boots. Runs out slowly and Sumil ends up catching him. Topson's super aggressive in the early phase of the game, but now a little quiet, forgetting that he's a support and he needs to continue to be active. Instead, goes for a lot of farm for himself. We'll see if that pays off this game or not. They end up trading bottom tower for top tower, but the key difference here is they end up only using two heroes to get this tower, whereas the Radiant end up using four heroes to get one singular tower. And meanwhile, they're setting up on the mid lane here, too. Mm. Topson is going to punch him down. And that will be that. Smell on a monster kill streak here. Topson will barely get out here. Gonna try and heal up. And on the top lane, simultaneously, as all this is happening, Weehaw is going to get slapped down by Skeeter on the Ursa. Pudge on the Prowlian. That should help. Or is Sumel on the prowl again? Remnant and misses. He's gonna walk the Pudge here on the Razor. Topson not wanting to go in here. He's thinking about it. He goes plus one here. Does he want to throw in his body in? And he does. Balanced Marcy coming in there. We have the Blink Dagger. Quickly picks up Sumel. Nine second cooldown. Mind control has to be a little careful because Miracle is on the prowl with Maelstrom finished. So there's a Spirit Vessel on Whisper here on your Enigma. I know Urn's really good, but some people go into Dagger. But it looks like Weehaw. What in God's name is Weehaw doing? Why is he here? Runs up to enemy triangle. Okay. He's trying to... I, I don't know what he's trying to do here, to be honest with you. But he's going to get slapped down a bit. Rubik somehow out of range for the lift there. A little bit of misplay there from the Rubik. But Lee Hall, I would say he got away with murder there, but he actually accomplished nothing from that. And in the top lane here, he's trying to TP out. You can't TP out in front of Marcy. Topson kills Miracle. You know, on the bottom lane, Sumel on his monster kill streak gets tossed back. And to an illusion usage. Dodges the hook. Beautiful play there from Sumel. Getting away from essentially like four heroes down here. Skeeter on the Ursa going for the Battle Fury. It's going to farm up all this territory here. Looks like Miracle's trying to steal a little bit of farm there. But in the meanwhile, it looks like we've got a smoke play here. Topson smokes up. With his phase boots. Ends up punching him down. Rebound is ready. Gets the last hit here. Looks like Topson will be going down for sure here. Miracle TP's in. To a Razor. He's not happy about this one. There's still an Avalanche. Will go in here. Whisper does have the black hole, but will he use it? He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He doesn't want to use it. He's very patient. Instead doesn't oh he's afraid of the stolen black hole here not knowing rubik didn't have mana there and didn't have lift either and then just completely outplayed here just straight into the enigma things getting a little bit out of hand here and i like this choice a lot like a lot of ursas 
will get that first Aegis, and they won't do anything with it. And especially because his build is very farm heavy. The first Aegis is just meant for like fighting. And if you're gonna AFK farm, you don't need it as a carry. So he gives it to Sumel. And this will allow Sumel to play a lot more aggressively in the game. Meanwhile, while he gets to not feel pressured about joining fights, and he can just farm away, knowing his team will carry him for the next however many more minutes. Topson going for the bounty rune here. Farming aggressively. You can kind of look at the farm distribution here. Top lane's pushing. Over here you have Ursa just farming out everything in their jungle. Total free farm. They got mid farm as well. And Topson is kind of like milking that like last little bit of CS here. Like bottom's pushed. It's a little greedy being here, but even if he does die here, it's not the worst thing, right? Because like the risk reward is that he gets to farm this camp, gets to chill here, but Razor's not dying. Now, up here, Skeeter gets to see that everyone's bottom. So yeah, they lost the support Marcy, which is good for Radiant to kill her there. But if they wouldn't have, if they were scared in any capacity and she would have been able to farm all that, that is where the net worth would get out of control. So plays like that are definitely like worth doing as a support, as long as you know you're making space for your team and your team is uh, farming the whole map. Another smoke is going out. Ethereal Blade Rush on Sumel here. They're checking for the rune, by the way. It's an arcane rune. Weehaw got it first, but the Ethereal Blade is online, and look at that burst damage. That was a 2,000 HP tiny. Rubik and Void Spirit right now can just run a train on pretty much anyone. Topson giving Michael Jordan some movement speed here. Looks more like Michael Jordan should be Marcy and not Void Spirit. With those hops. And then he hooks in. I mean, this, this Pudge just doesn't quite look like it's having quite the impact it wishes. And then there you go. This Ethereal Blade, Aegis, Void Spirit seems unstoppable at the moment. 6k net worth advantage. Skeeter with the Battle Fury online compared to Miracle right now. Uh, I mean, his net worth looks okay. But the biggest problem in this game right now is Sumel. Sumel is like stomping this game. And it's all thanks to Topson on his Marcy. A great display here of like a great mid laner, of course, in Sumel, making good plays around the map. But Topson really enabling, being a mid player himself, really understands what a mid laner needs to succeed. Really helps him out with the runes and the ganks, and his investment in Sumel this game has definitely paid off. Mind control close to the BKB. Really worry for Radiance when Mind Control does get this BKB online. It does seem Whisper is very hesitant to cast the black hole against the Ruvik, and I don't blame him. Rubik does have an Aether Lens, so like he'll always steal Black Hole every single time. But what can they do at that point? They gotta find the pickoffs. Topson giving move speed to Smell here to get the runes. Lee Hall finishing the Echo Saber. Chikiro just going for a Glimmer Cape. Really needs that BKB here on Miracle as well as soon as possible. And the item timings just seem like way faster here. And it's, I. <laughs> Thompson has like an unheard of build for support. I have never, like obviously he's not a support player. And even when he does play his heroes mid, he has like his unique flair. He's playing right click carry from position four. Most people go the Aether Lens. I mean, Pudge died, who cares? He just got hit by an E-Blade, but looks like Tiny will jump in, kill the Rubik. Mind Control is available here with the BKB, but he will just go back. But most of uh, Marcy's will go Blink Dagger or they'll go Aether Lens to just help the team. He's going full right click. He's just going for the Basher. Basher completed for Marcy along with the Vambrace. Just gonna get in there and do the damage. Very, very interesting build. Never seen it before on a position four Marcy, but here we are. It looks like we're gonna jump in here with a rebound. Dispose the wrong direction. He could pop his ulti here if he wants to. And that he will, and he will bash him too. He wants blood. Oh, he does get the wand off too. He's gonna get another bash off. I think he will. There it is. There's the bash. A couple more punches. Sumel is beyond godlike. Skeeter joins in the mid lane too. Whisper ends up buying back. I think he's not happy with this game. He has blinked into the fountain. I think team morale is low here on the Radiant, but Dyer will march forward. Wonder what uh, Sumel's gonna go for. Ags, All right. So this is like a really nice pub stompy build. The Ethereal Blade Void Spirit. I have not seen anyone build this in like pro Dota yet, but at the same time, this item, if you are really far ahead, can really snowball the game for you. Down here, we've got the Rubik, also known as Thug, holding his vision up here, followed by Tops in 20 seconds on the Unleash. His build is completely comprised of getting these kills. 
He goes back, Pudge thinks twice before initiating there. Whisper is still AFK, a little demoralized from this game, I do imagine, seeing as that they are getting slapped pretty hard. Miracle BKB online. They have ended up dewarding here and it looks like they're gonna take position here. Interesting enough, he's not planting a ward. And it looks like Miracle is going to split push the side lanes, trying to get all these creeps out here. But Thompson is not gonna let him. This is the position one, Nature's Prophet, versus position four, Marcy. Who wins? Will the duel begin? Thompson smells blood, does have the Culling Blade, gets juked. We all wanted to see the duel. Miracle chickened out, and I'm gonna just declare Tops in the winner. Looks like Whisper is back into the game. He just had to go answer the door real quick. Pizza delivery. And here we go. We might see an initiation here. This is Dyer's Ward. Weehaw will go straight in onto the Rubik. Topson does want to fight. He doesn't know who to go on right now. He has popped Unleash, and he's just didn't do anything. Instead, Sumil just killed everyone. Hyped that one up for a little bit of nothing. Rebound is available, but here's a slap, slap, slap. And then the kill is going to go straight to mind control. Cutting across the map here. Miracle sitting in the trees here. 13k gold lead going on the way of Dire here. BKB online going Ursus way. Oh, Sumel, interesting enough, went for an Aeon disc. Of all items, he could have went. He went for a really aggressive one and a really defensive one. Not wanting to get burst in the black hole or caught by some hook. He is pretty much immune with that item. Just needs to be a little careful using his combo because whenever Aeon Disc does proc, it makes you do zero damage during that duration. But it is a great save. Oh, this is the fight we're looking for. So, oh, Topson is just hunting down Miracle in the position one. as his boss for Marcy as he has itemized to be an independent solo killer. In the top lane here. It's like Skeeter will go in. Lee Hall does not have any spells. He does now. Well, this might be his death here. He actually ends up missing the toss, which will cause Lee Hall to be fodder here. And the ice path will connect, and it looks like they will get Skeeter, but at what cost? This Miracle does manage to get the TP out. Pudge manages to hide over here too. In the, in the meanwhile, in the bottom lane, it does look like Whisper has been found in the trees by mind control. And is just dead. This game's starting to look very stompy now here. 24 minutes in the game with a 13,000 gold advantage. Miracle never giving up here, teeping in on Mind Control, who has a backpacked Quelling Blade. He realizes it, clicks him down, MC goes for the TP out, and that was a very, very close call. So now two cores are dead for the side of Dire, but look who's in. It's your boy, Michael Jordan, aka Sumel, continuing to terrorize as a 19 and 1 Void Spirit. 19 and 1, bringing down Miracle. This, uh, Topson, like, imagine that. This Topson position four with Sumel mid. Looking good. Isn't that, like, the dream as a mid player to, like, have another mid player play four for you? You know you're gonna, like, just get the treatment. Oh my goodness, what the f*** was that? Instantly bashed. Goes in anyway. Maybe they'll kill him anyway. No. Oh, yep. I don't know. What's going on here? And don't die, my friend. And he lives. Unbelievable. I mean, that was a very unfortunate sequence of events for <laughs> the tiny. Blinks in and gets instantly bashed. Topson's build really looking quite good here. 25 minutes in, 14k net worth advantage. Topson farming up the bottom lane. Really just want to keep reiterating the strength of a POS 4 that plays mid. When you play mid, you'll get every rune, every gank you could ever ask for. And props to Mind Control, just doing well in his lane as his uh, boss 4 decides to roam the map and get kills. Aegis is on the Ursa. Ursa has a Blink Dagger now. He will now decide to join the game, I imagine, now that he holds the Aegis and the Shard. At this point, Whisper's just two-shot. That's that. Go next. Yep, 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 yep. Pudge gonna get lifted back to just yet another ice pack in three seconds. We've got an ice path. Will he use it? Indeed, we will. He wants to go in for the kill. He will get it. Ethereal Blade is online if he wants to keep chasing. 
those spells are available. I'm going to stalk him at the current point in time. I think Topson's job right now is just mode hunt miracle. And then Weehaw goes in and pops the Aeon disc here. Remnant will miss. Poor Miracle trying his hardest here. I wish I could say the same for Whispers Enigma, who seems to have been completely demoralized by the performance here of the Dire. Oh, what can you do situation. As Weehaw does go down at this point in the game, 19... A gold lead for the Dire, feeling insurmountable at the moment. Rubik with the 5,000 range ward placement. Can now see in the base. Let's see if he decides or if he gets another ice path. Looks like Sumel will just solo kill Pudge real quick. They go into the base. Miracle still on the split push. Can he somehow, against all odds, bring this game back? The 1v9 carry. I don't think a single player on his team is useful right now, but they will try their best to find a purpose in this game. And again, we see it again. The Marcy. He's mad. He's got a dust. He does not want Miracle to play Dota. But Miracle, too smart, gets out. Ends up split pushing a bit more. The Radiant losing bottom to the barracks, but I don't think that matters too much. This Miracle can easily push it out. Tops him with the haste rune. He's going in hot. Gets hit by the ultimate of nature's prophet. Weehaw does go in. Gets his ulti off, gets the bash off. Starts to punch a little bit. And Miracle will end up killing him, but here comes Skeeter getting another kill as Sumel, for the 30th time, kills the Pudge in the mid lane. Meanwhile, Jakiro caught in a very difficult spot here. Well, they fountain dive him. He thought about it. Animation was cancelled. At this point, he can probably 100 to 0 Jakiro in the fountain. Oh, Miracle, will you get the courier? Not sure what to do. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Whisper has used Black Hole zero times this game. Over 11k average game. For those of you that didn't know if griefing still existed in 11k games, yes, it does. You're not safe in any region. You're not safe at any MR bracket. Uh-oh. His Shadow Blade's running out. Topson sees him? Oh, oh my... What? They didn't see him there? Amazing juke there for Miracle. Razor end up going to Ags just to finish the game. Rubik of the Force Staff. Lehaw goes in, really wants to kill off this Rubik. He will get him. Situation where he's very vulnerable. He should play a little bit care more carefully. Mind Control will pop his BKB. End up right clicking him down. Topson is in with the Dispose. With Unleash ready. They're angry. They got some buybacks. They got a little less fight in them. There's been a ping on the top lane saying Enigma is not here. So let's continue to fight. Aegis does expire. Topson does have BK available, but no Unleash. And here it is. This is the moment. This is the moment. Going straight on the Topson who pops his BKB. Miracle wants to kill him here, but realizes he is losing damage. Gets saved by Pudge. Meanwhile, amazing split push going on by Whisper here in the offlane here. He might take their throne if they're not careful. Still, the split push is insane here by Whisper. Meanwhile, Miracle... Okay, okay. I see you. Miracle has the Sprout Leash's talent. Goes in behind. Leashes the Void Spirit. He can't get out. Gets Topson as well. That's a double kill on Sumel and Topson for Miracle. But he is pretty much by himself at this point. Pudge goes in, has hook available, was not able to save his ally there. And in the meanwhile, Miracle does buy back. Whisper still AFK in the top lane. But maybe he'll join the game eventually. Miracle's back. No BKB available. And it looks like he will go down. But perhaps this Enigma will be able to kill the throne before the Dire does. We will see, it'll be close. Everyone Radiant giving their all in this over 11k average MMR game. 11.1k average game to be exact. And it looks like that will be the conclusion of this game. Looks like Skeeter, Sumil, Mind Control, Topson, and Thug will be victorious over Weehaw, Miracle, Pure, Whisper, and Pikachu. And that'll be it for this game. Peace.